There's a new sheriff in town, and its name is the F-47, developed by Boeing. The F-47 is designed and destined to be the most advanced fighter ever created. But China has dared to change this destiny. China is building a fighter of its own with the sole purpose of destroying the F-47 should the need arise. The battle is on, and this video will take you right to the center of it. But first, an important status update of these fighters. In March 2025, the U.S. Air Force awarded Boeing the $20 billion engineering and manufacturing development contract for the F-47, possibly the world's first sixth-generation fighter jet under the Next Generation Air Dominance Program, known simply as the NGAD program. Announced by President Donald Trump on March 21, 2025, alongside Defense Secretary Pete Hegseth, and Air Force Chief of Staff General David Alvin. The F-47 is designed to replace the F-22 Raptor, ensuring air superiority against peer adversaries like China. The Air Force plans to procure 200 to 250 jets with a $19.6 billion budget allocation over five years. $50 billion more may be needed as the unit cost of the F-47 is projected to hit around $300 million. And there lies the problem. A unit cost of $300 million demanding $50 billion more. These are impossible numbers. If over 200 units must be in the F-47 fleet, its predecessor, the F-22 Raptor, also suffered from cost overruns and never exactly recovered from it. The Raptor's unit cost of $350 million compelled the U.S. Air Force to cut down its planned fleet size from over 300 units to an odd 187. And although the industry has found a way to build a more advanced aircraft at a lower $300 million, $300 million is still almost three times the price of a Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II. And with Lockheed Martin saying recently that it can upgrade the F-35 to wield 80% of the F-47's capabilities at 50% of the price, the question is, what's the point of the F-47 once again begins to seep in? This has been a lingering question over the years, so much so that in May 2024, the U.S. Air Force halted the NGAD program for a comprehensive review to determine if the F-47 was in fact worth it. After months and months of reviewing and simulations, it was not only determined that the F-47 was worth it, but that it is also the most reliable path to dominating the skies of tomorrow over near-peer rival China. The F-47's capabilities are simply unmatched, and unmatched capabilities are exactly what the Air Force needs, especially as China builds not just one, but at least two sixth-generation fighter jets. On December 26, 2024, two unfamiliar jets were spotted in a video flying in the skies above China, seemingly in a flight test. Although they were unfamiliar, they looked decisively more advanced than every other fighter in the sky today. They quickly became known as the J-36 and J-50. The J-36 was much larger than the J-50, prompting calculated guesses that the J-36 is are at least linked to China's sixth generation fighter. While the J-50 is its loyal wingman, one core technological upgrade that came with the advent of sixth generation fighters is the ability to fly into missions escorted by loyal wingmen. The F-47-2 will have its wingmen. The U.S. Air Force made it clear that the J-36 is very likely an air superiority fighter, making it a direct rival to the F-47, likely the biggest rival to the F-47. With its tailless, tri-jet design and integration of cutting-edge technologies, the J-36 could easily threaten U.S. air superiority. Details aren't exactly officially verified, but the J-36's design appears to emphasize advanced stealth and long-range capabilities tailored for the vast Indo-Pacific theater, which would be the likely theater of choice for a battle between China and the U.S. Its tailless, diamond double-delta wing configuration resembles a flying wing, minimizes radar cross-section across multiple angles, surpassing the stealth of China's fifth-generation J-20 
The aircraft's three-engine setup, reportedly using WS-10C engines while awaiting the advanced WS-15, enables super cruise at Mach 1.35 and a combat radius of approximately 1,750 miles. This range allows the J-36 to project power over contested regions like the South China Sea, challenging U.S. and allied forces operating from distant bases. China is also a leading force in unmanned systems technology, probably best in the world if their sky shows are anything to go by. China's integration of unmanned teaming and the artificial intelligence that power these drones would therefore further amplify the J-36's threat. The J-36 is designed as a command platform for unmanned combat aerial vehicles, enabling it to coordinate drone swarms from reconnaissance, electronic warfare, or strikes. As said earlier, the system of systems approach or manned-unmanned teaming approach mirrors the F-47 teaming with loyal wingmen known officially as collaborative combat aircraft, CCA for short. However, China's rapid testing of its unmanned loyal wingmen suggests a more aggressive timeline than the U.S. The pace of China's program poses a significant challenge. While the F-47 has been in development since 2019, as an X-plane for testing, its engineering and manufacturing development phase began only in March 2025, targeting operational deployment by 2029. Conversely, the J-36 has conducted multiple test flights with footage indicating a mature prototype. Analysts suggest China could achieve initial operational capability before the F-47, giving it a first mover advantage and giving China the official title of the wielder of the world's first sixth-generation fighter. This could lead to a major shift in how China is perceived. Thanks to a history of reverse engineering and espionage, China has always been perceived as a copycat of the United States that makes cheaper, less powerful versions of American machines. But if China makes it first this time, then who exactly could they have copied? would also boost confidence in China around the world and even within China, as it showcases China's superiority over the rest of the world, even if only temporary. And if the J-36 enters service much earlier than the F-47, that timeline gives China the chance to make battle-deciding upgrades as more data is gathered of the fighter in the real world, while the U.S. still works on its base version. China's building capacities has, for years, been at jaw-dropping speeds, and they continue to accelerate, building entire ships and freighters in mere months. U.S. President Donald Trump has regularly criticized the decline or deceleration of American building capabilities and is laser-focused on speeding it up. For this reason, at least, it remains unknown which sixth-generation fighter will find its way into service first, China's J-36 or America's Boeing F-47. More importantly, it remains unknown which fighter will be more advanced. The capabilities that would make the J-36 superior to traditional fighters have been discussed at length. It is now time to discuss the superior capabilities of the F-47. The Boeing F-47, the United States Air Force's first sixth-generation fighter jet, represents a monumental leap in air superiority technology under the NGAD program. The F-47 integrates the most advanced technologies the U.S. could conjure up to dominate highly contested environments against peer adversaries like Russia and China. This has made the F-47 highly capable, reportedly more capable than every fighter before it. We will now explore the F-47's key capabilities, including its advanced stealth, sensors, and avionics, integration with CCAs, its impressive range, blurry speeds, and lethal weapons. Advanced Stealth Technology the F-47 stealth capabilities are a cornerstone of its design, enabling it to penetrate dense, highly protected airspaces undetected. Unlike its fifth-generation predecessors, the F-22 and F-35, which rely on bow-tie stealth designs with vertical tails that reflect radar when viewed from the side, the F-47 employs all aspects stealth. This is suggested by renderings showing a tailless design, lacking vertical stabilizers which reduce radar cross-section from all angles, including side-on perspectives critical in countering long-range airborne radars and air warfare destroyers, particularly in the Indo-Pacific against China's advanced air defenses. 
The F-47 Stealth is further enhanced by advanced materials and coatings, making it virtually unseeable as claimed by President Trump. This capability is vital for operating in environments where adversaries deploy low-frequency early warning radars that can detect stealth aircraft without guiding weapons to them. The F-47's design mitigates these threats, ensuring it remains elusive even in multi-angle radar illumination scenarios. Additionally, the F-47 incorporates supercruise technology allowing it to maintain supersonic speeds without afterburners. Less afterburner time means less heat, which ultimately means reduced infrared signatures that could be detected by enemy sensors. This quieter operation without afterburners greatly extends its survivability in contested airspace, enabling prolonged missions without compromising stealth. The jet stealth is not just above evading various types of radar either, but also about minimizing electronic emissions, leveraging passive sensors and advanced electronic warfare systems to maintain a low electromagnetic profile. These features collectively ensure the F-47 can infiltrate enemy defenses, strike critical targets, and egress safely, fulfilling its penetrating counter-air role. Advanced Sensors and Avionics the F-47 sensor suite and avionics are among the most advanced in the world, surpassing the F-35's AN APG-81 radar. Its onboard radar array, likely using gallium nitride transmit and receive modules, offers a generational leap in power, output, and fidelity enabling long-range detection and tracking of stealth targets. Coupled with sensor fusion, these systems provide unparalleled situational awareness, integrating data from onboard sensors, CCAs, and network platforms. The seamless data transfer goes both ways, as the F-47 is able to not only collect, but also process and distribute real-time battlefield data across the joint force. The result, enhanced situational awareness and targeting precision for every member of the force, be it CCAs, F-35s, B-21 bombers, naval assets, or other friendlies. The F-47's avionics include an electronic warfare suite that features next-generation countermeasures, potentially incorporating directed energy weapons for both defensive and offensive roles, enhancing its survivability against advanced air defenses. The F-47's avionics support AI-driven automation, reducing pilot workload and enabling rapid decision-making in contested environments. The hypersonic missile capabilities and high-precision weapons further enhance its lethality, allowing the F-47 to engage targets at standoff distances after its sensors and avionics have spotted them. Combine all of these with the jet stealth and speed, and we get a formidable platform for both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions capable of neutralizing enemy aircraft, defenses, and infrastructure with unmatched precision. Integration with Collaborative Combat Aircrafts CCAs. The F-47's integration with CCA drones is a revolutionary aspect of its design. Reflecting the Air Force's system of systems approach, these autonomous loyal wingmen, such as the YFQ-42A development by Auduro and the YFQ-44A development by General Atomics, can carry additional munitions, perform electronic warfare, or conduct surveillance, extending the F-47's reach and firepower. The Air Force plans to acquire 1,000 CCAs with each F-47, potentially controlling multiple drones to overwhelm enemy defenses. This capability allows the F-47 to engage enemy air power, while F-35s and B-21s target ground-based defenses and strategic assets, creating a layered offensive strategy. The F-47's AI-driven command and control system enables real-time coordination with CCAs, adapting to dynamic threats without overburdening the pilot. These systems will help orchestrate even the most complex missions, directing CCA drones to engage targets, conduct reconnaissance, or absorb enemy fire, thereby preserving the manned fighter for high-volume tasks. This network approach amplifies the F-47's lethality and survivability, making it a force multiplier in contested environments where rapid decision-making is critical. The automation with human oversight is crucial in high-intensity conflicts where split-second decisions determine success. 
and it will only get better. The CCA program's incremental development with further iterations planned ensures the F-47's drone integration evolves with emerging technologies, maintaining its edge against adversaries. Range, Speed, and Weapons The F-47 is engineered for exceptional range and speed. This addresses the F-22's limitation in combat radius, which was less than 700 miles without external tanks, a short range that could be even shorter if the F-22 carried heavier payload. Therefore, its payload capacity was also limited. The Air Force's 2050 report emphasizes the need for a combat radius far surpassing the F-22s, with estimates suggesting the F-47 could operate over 1,850 miles without refueling, potentially doubled with aerial refueling support. A major leap from the F-22s, this extended range is critical for operations in the vast Indo-Pacific theater, where bases are often hundreds of miles apart and refueling assets are vulnerable to attack. The F-47's larger size accommodates greater internal fuel stores, allowing for this increase in range without compromising stealth like mounted external stores would. President Trump and Air Force Chief of Staff General David Alvin have indicated an F-47 top speed exceeding Mach 2, powered by adaptive cycle engines, likely the General Electric A-102 or A-103 variants that offer greater power and fuel efficiency than traditional turbofans. These engines and enable supercruise, allowing the F-47 to sustain supersonic speeds without fuel-intensive afterburners, keeping its operational range extended. The F-47's approach to range and speed enables the F-47 to project power from safer distances, protect takers from interceptors, and sustain high sortie rates. The combination of speed and range makes the F-47 both a defensive asset, keeping the U.S. forces out of reach of enemy missiles, and an offensive platform capable of striking deep into adversary territory. The F-47's larger size also accommodates greater payload, allowing it to carry more weapons than its predecessors. The weapons would be groundbreaking themselves as they can include hypersonic missiles such as the hypersonic attack cruise missile, laser weapons like the self-protect high-energy laser demonstrator, and the slew of modern weapons under development in factories across the United States. The AIM-260 Joint Advanced Tactical Missile, for instance. These weapons come with greater ranges, lethality, and resistance to interception by enemy defense systems. Combine such weapons with the speed, range, networking, and interoperability from advanced avionics and sensors and the advanced stealth of the F-47 that it becomes easy to see why the F-47 is in a class of its own, a generation of its own. But of course, it's not alone in this generation. Its greatest rival so far, China's J-36 is also already taking shape. This makes one wonder, factoring their sixth generation fighter jets, which world power would dominate in a battle between the United States and China. Regarding capabilities, the American F-47 and Chinese J-36 are currently at a stalemate for the singular reason that it is still early to determine which one does what better. Historically, however, the United States has had decades of a head start in building highly advanced aircraft, from fighters to bombers and beyond. Aside their sixth generation fighters, though, the United States still has the edge in air superiority. Current American fighters are significantly more advanced than the current Chinese fighters, with the F-22 retaining the crown as the most lethal fighter jet in history since it entered service to this day. The B-2 Spirit, America's current top bomber before the B-21 Raider enters service, is the most advanced bomber in the world. Add the F-35 to the mix, the United States easily has the largest fleet of advanced aircraft in the world. In a conflict between the U.S. and China today in the skies, it wouldn't be much of a battle. China could be out of it in a minute or half in 30 seconds. In the future, however, as American and Chinese sixth-generation fighters enter service, the battle gets more interesting. The rivalry gets tighter and the better aircraft will reign supreme. Which will that be? There's only one way to find out, and that's by giving this video a like and by subscribing to this channel. So do that now, and thanks for watching.